How do you lift something that is 20 times your weight? You should be born an ant or just use tools. In a previous video, I've introduced pressure and hydrostatic equilibrium. In short, pressure is the force applied over an area or, in another way, the force due to pressure is the product of that pressure times the area it is applied over. Using this, I've derived hydrostatic equilibrium where it turned out that the ambient pressure cancelled out and it was the pressure differential that held up a water column against gravity. Another principle to consider here is the conservation of volume. For an incompressible fluid, squeezing it through different cross sections will only alter its shape but not its volume. Hence, there is an inverse relationship between the area of flow and the length of flow. Pascal's principle states that for an input of external pressure to a confined fluid, the pressure will increase by the same amount at every point. Note that this pressure increase does not alter the basic hydrostatic relation with depth. Let's demonstrate Pascal's principle in practice using the real life example of a hydraulic lift. A hydraulic lift uses a small piston applying force through a small area to exert a greater force on a greater area. Obviously, for incompressible fluids, the greater area you are trying to press through at the output, the greater length you need to press at the input. Now let's look at the force needed. According to Pascal's principle, any change in pressure at one point of a confined incompressible fluid will be measured by the same change in pressure at all other points. Because the force due to pressure is proportional to area, this means the change in force will be proportional to the area as well. This direct proportion of force with area will give us the mechanical advantage. We can input a small force on a small area to output a great force on a greater area. Let's demonstrate the principle with the following example. We want to lift a car using a hydraulic lift that has pump action. This means instead of one long push, we can apply several pumps in succession to deliver the length of flow. Read the problem 
and note every relevant variable. In this application, you will need to know any clues on forces, areas, and distances. Also, highlight what are the unknowns you are trying to solve for. Declare Pascal's law and solve for the unknown. Our unknown in this case is the input force. Plug in with units. For the question involving the number of pumps, the obvious unknown to solve for is the length on the input side. Plug in with units and apply the ratio of length of each pump. Reread the problem and check that your answer is reasonable with the given quantities. Note that, in real life, a car is only lifted this high in shops using the assistance of motors, and instead, in most cases, it is lifted a lot less unless absolutely necessary.